Hi everyone, and welcome to Clown Hour, the show where I talk about clowns for way less than an hour. In this show, I'm gonna read a social media post or show a video, talk about why the person who posted it should have their name in flashing lights at Cirque du Soleil, and then try to tell you how to be better. So the topic of our first post ever is a little something called COVID-19, maybe you've heard of it. It comes from a pair of just brilliant mentally acrobatic Congress candidates who have a fresh new take on what the pandemic was originally designed to do. Let's take a look. Let's cut the narratives. A Chinese bioweapon went around the world and managed to land the President of the United States in the hospital. Perhaps if our intelligence agencies weren't so focused on white supremacy and racial sensitivity trainings, they could have stopped this. Finally! So I want to know a little bit more about these two pioneering women. So let's head on over to Wikipedia and see what we can- Hey, Master Chief is the featured article today. The first thing I learned is that neither of these women, Lauren Witzke and Deanna Lorraine, are important enough to have their own Wikipedia pages. The second thing I learned is that both Witzke and Lorraine are running in primarily democratic states. Witzke running in Delaware, and Lorraine running in California against Nancy Pelosi, who has never lost a race since before the US was founded. The third thing I learned, and this is the most important parts to write this down, is that Witzke is a supporter of the QAnon conspiracy theory. For those of you who don't know, the Klan and conspiracy theory is basically that there's this coalition of pedophilic Satan worshippers who run a global sex trafficking ring, the members of whom have all coincidentally said very mean things about dear leader Donald Trump. You know, very middle of the road conspiracy stuff here. Some named members of this coalition are uh, Barack Obama, um, uh, Hillary Clinton, um, let me see, the, the DNC chairwoman whose name I can't remember, um, uh, we've got Angela Merkel, the Prime Minister of Germany who's actually Hitler's granddaughter, um, uh, Eminem, I guess. Anyway, there's zero evidence backing it up, but Trump and Pence and other big names have come out in support of it. Basically, all you need to know about it is that it's a baseless theory that says all Democrats and left-leaning celebrities are pedophiles. So now that we know that for both Lorraine and Witzke, defecation flows trippingly from the top. Let's break down what's stupid about the actual tweet. So right off the bat, she says, let's cut the narratives. Okay, so Trump has been spinning false narratives about the pandemic ever since it started, and he even admitted to it. Roll the clip. Uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. See, there you go. So if she wants to cut those narratives, then great. But she's a Trump supporter, so everything he says is canon, even if it gets retconned a few days later. No, no, no. The narratives she wants to cut are the ones that say coronavirus is, you know, a virus. So next up, she says that COVID-19 is mm, a bioweapon designed by the Chinese to assassinate Trump. S so... Then why did it start in China? I mean, to be fair, China has not had the best track record when it comes to keeping its own citizens alive, but killing Trump just isn't worth tens of thousands of its citizens getting infected, let alone millions across the world and over a million deaths now. And on top of that, nature has millions and millions of years of experience on us when it comes to creating tiny biological killing machines. Also, why would China want to kill Trump? He's doing a great job of lowering the US's reputation in the eyes of the world. Quick reminder, he backed out of the Iran nuclear deal, he backed out of the Paris Climate Accord, which was voluntary by the way, he keeps trying to kill the Affordable Care Act, and he wants to f his daughter. So I mean, if I'm China, I'm just gonna let him be. Alright, now on to the next point, which is that the US's intelligence agency are too focused on white supremacy and racial sensitivity training than fighting a non-existent bioweapon. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick. Racial tension has been a part of American history ever since it was founded, so focusing on racial sensitivity training is actually a good thing because the only way we're gonna get rid of racial tension is through active effort. So Witzke's implication that racial sensitivity training is a waste of time is willful and deliberate ignorance. All right, so now let's move back to white supremacy. It's a thing. The KKK, the Aryan Nations, the Proud Boys, these are all white supremacist domestic terrorist groups active right now in the US. Ones that the President of the United States, Donald Trump, have failed to condemn because doggone it, they just look so dang handsome in their mugshots. Now I'm gonna be clear. 
White supremacist groups are a rampant problem in the United States right now, directly aggravated by a president who enables them. And honestly, our intelligence agencies have been doing a pretty good job of dealing with them. I mean, the FBI just thwarted the Whitmer kidnapping. So basically, Witsky is calling for intelligence agencies to stop doing their job and start doing not their job. Okay, so now that we've talked about this tweet, how can you be better than them? I mean, essentially what it boils down to is don't vote for these people. More specifically, don't vote for people who promote baseless conspiracy theories. You have to do your own research. You have to find out who's running for public office in the place where you live. You have to find out their history, their beliefs, their policies. Basically everything that will help you make an informed decision on who to vote for. And okay, this needs to be said as often as possible. Twitter and Facebook are not news sources. They were not designed with spreading the news in mind. When you do look at actual news sources, you have to make sure those sources are reputable, and you also have to learn what their biases are. For example, The Atlantic leans left, while Breitbart is stupid. So, in summary, conspiracy theories? Bad. Whitsky and Lorraine? Bad. Doing your own research? Good. Thank you for watching the first ever episode of Clown Hour. If you have a bad take you want me to look at, send it to me and it might be on the next episode. This video was sponsored by Water. Okay, peace out.